Hey there everyone, uh, another video, and this time I'm going to cover version 3.2.2. Alright, so let's get into it. Uh, so the first thing um, I finally kind of figured out was how the software is actually packaged. And now, this is it. So you just have an EXE, and once you run it, it will build the settings file and it will build the my theme projects but obviously um, if you um, have a previous version of uh, CTC then you know it's up to you you can you can create uh, a new folder put this exe in it and then just simply drag your settings and my theme projects from your previous folder into this one all right and once you click the EXE, you're good to go. All right. So now you're truly portable. Um, and uh, <clears throat> the thing that kind of gummed me up for quite some time was, as you know, when a theme is published, um, not, is, not only is the XAML co code generated and distributed, but it also um, uh, publishes to Community Theme Creator DLL uh libraries okay um that was the thing that was preventing me from going down to a single exe but anyway that's that's all that's all done it just makes it a lot easier cleaner um so moving on let's see so that's one of the features and while we're here might as well launch it And what I'll do, I'll go to, and I'll cover theme manager in a little bit, but um, let's see. Mm, what's new in 3.2.1? Actually, let's talk about the, uh, the one of the fixes before I get into some of the enhancements. So I was informed um, either late Sunday or Monday that uh, the I think it was I think it was version three point two, um, but anyway I broke the genre one two three four, play mode one two three four, region one two three four. Um, it wasn't breaking out the um, uh, individual you know, criteria, if you will, that was delimited either by a slash or a semicolon. Um, and it wasn't working in views and it wasn't working in wheel items. So as a test, as I was changing the code, I was using this to ensure that it would indeed work. And I went a little bit, well, I didn't go further. I just want to make sure it was all going to work. So for example, if I go to Nintendo, what was I using? I'm thinking it was GameCube. Yeah. So for example, if I go to Metroid Prime, the first entry here, Shooter, well, the only entry in this case, it's highlighted in red. So <clears throat> that was really just to ensure that not only was the information being displayed and the images associated with the value being displayed, but can I change the color? Uh, based on the value. So I was using conditioning um, and I can use color conditioning here. Let's see. So I just simply said, hey, if genre one is shooter, make it red. That's the image. And the same is true for the text field as well. All right. Um, okay. So conditioning works uh image substitution or image images work with this genre 1234 play mode 1234 region 1234 that works and obviously the text um works too all right so if you're wondering why your themes weren't displaying um the other entries now you know why it was broken and i guess it's been broken for a while 
Um, all right, so that is the only fix I've incorporated. So let's jump back to, um, let's jump back to the uh, theme manager. And I finally got it organized the way I want it organized. It was always put in this underscore theme components at the very end, because that's how it, ha that's how, um, uh, .NET handles, uh, folder naming. Don't ask me why should be up, up top. But anyway, um, I've now got it in the correct order. And more importantly, if I were to, let's say, change rename Black Mirror to underscore Black Mirror, it no longer refreshes the entire page and you wait for it to reload and it's grabbing all the information. It's already grabbed all the information. It doesn't have to do anything. It just repositioned it where it's supposed to be, okay? And, and it's back again. <clears throat> so, I mean, I can just do this. It stays here, it's duplicating. It reloaded. There's the duplicate. I'll go ahead and delete it. It's gone. Okay. So you no longer, I mean, you don't really spend a great deal of time in theme manager, but if you were to kind of start renaming stuff and, uh, you know, deleting and whatnot, you don't have that, uh, unnecessary, uh, page build now. Okay. Uh, just wanted to cover that. And let me see. Oh, uh, yes. If I actually go into what's new in 321. Okay. So <clears throat> this particular view leverages this wheel item that alternates um, the trapezoid based on an odd even number, okay, in the wheel. That's how it works. So let's visit the wheel item design for this. Um, try to remember, ignore that, ignore that one, this one. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's see, as I, as I mentioned, uh, first entry, odd, even, odd, even. But what you have to notice is the game clear logo is either at the top or at the bottom based on odd, even value. Okay. Now, <clears throat> before in version 321, I had two images, two clear logos defined, one up here, one here, and it would have visibility conditioning based on, hey, am I odd? Am I even? And it would hide one uh, based on based on that odd even value. Well, now I've got <clears throat> just the one clear logo, and I have a rectangle defined here, and I have a rectangle defined here, and it doesn't do anything other than you know they're they're just transparent uh, rectangles, okay, with no border. So you don't see them ever. And what you can do, <clears throat> excuse me, what you can do now is on this clear logo is condition the layout. And, and if you're familiar with this in views, it's exactly the same in wheel items, okay? So what I've done here is I'm now al allowing uh, layout remapping. So I'm saying the layout, properties like the X, like it's X, Y coordinates, width, height, skew, angle, all that stuff will be considered. So I'm saying go to the top if the value is odd, go to the bottom or reference the uh, layout properties of the rectangle called clear logo bottom if the odd even value is even, all right? So what you end up with is just simply 
bouncing the clear logo top bottom and it's just one ui element instead of how i had it before as two all right so more efficient and gives you a lot more flexibility depending on how you wish to condition um, your ui elements and where they should be placed um, if you're creating more of a I don't know, kind of like a universal wheel item, for example, that can span multiple platforms. Um, you could you could leverage this technique, depending on what you're doing. You certainly don't want to overload the wheel item with a ton of rendering, but um, you know, this technique could uh, could definitely be useful. All right, um, and I believe that's it. It wasn't a great deal. Uh, it, it was really to focus on single EXE um, and uh, fixing fixing that bug with genre, play mode, and region. Okay, um, and then the other things were just things I wasn't able to get to um, in the major build, and I still have some other um, uh, features and fixes um that i need to get to and i'll just i'll just keep rolling them out um as and when i think they've been fully tested and it's ready for rollout okay um i haven't forgotten the poll to go through um the features that didn't make uh version 3.2 um and obviously reach out to everyone and say hey what would you like uh, to see in version 3.3, uh, in addition to the ones that never made the cut for 3.2. I haven't forgotten, all right? I've just been kind of heads down, trying to fix some of these bigger issues um, and get these out of the way uh, so I can essentially kind of stabilize the, 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 the software and uh, truly focus on, 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 truly focus on enhancements. All right, so I haven't forgotten. Um, that's it uh, for 3.2.2. .2. And, um, you know, there'll, there'll be another rollout in a, in a week or so. All right, unless, of course, something glaring um, comes my way uh, and, and uh, prompts me to make a, 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 a quick change. But fingers crossed uh, that won't be the case. All right, so hopefully you enjoy 3.2.2. .2 .2. And, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll look out for your comments and feedback. All right. Take care, everyone.